Here's what's coming up in Kaleidoscope. Mock Rock will be held tonight and Digital Media Club has a commercial. We're going to air that today. News, weather, sports and more coming up next. IHS TV, Channel 11. And now, Barry Harris, Laura Boyd, and the K-Scope News Team. This is Kaleidoscope News, this morning. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Today is Monday, February 9th. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Laura, did you have a great weekend? Yeah, I did. Did you? I did. It was nice. I did nothing, and it felt great. Let me tell you. We're going to start off this morning by taking a look at the weather. Good morning. This is Seth with the weather. Today will be sunny with a high of 46. Tonight's low will be 35. The current temperature is 33 degrees, and the humidity is at 76%. And the barometric pressure is at 30.40 and steady. And now are the birthdays. Hi, this is Sophie with the birthdays. The birthdays for today are Tia Sudam, Nicole Beezus, Brian Seitz, Robert Laxon, and Ed Lipchuk. Happy birthday. Now over to today's headline. This is Jess with today's headline. President Obama plunges into a difficult test of his leadership this week, struggling to get a divided Congress to agree on his economic recovery package while pitching a new plan to ease loans to consumers and businesses. Now back to the news desk. The new date for the Spanish Club Bowling Fiesta is tomorrow. Permission slips are available outside of room 228 and should be returned with payment today. See Anna Walker, Tony Redding, John Kenya, Steph Caruza, or Shane Bilborough for more information. There will be an Environmental Club mentor meeting today to discuss upcoming trips in room 308 at 2.30. The registration period for driver's ed has been extended to Wednesday. Students may register prior to their 16th birthday. There will be a Students Against Destructive Decisions meeting Wednesday at 2.30 in room 220. New members are welcome. Now over to sports. Good morning. This is Allie and Jim with today's sports. The swimming and diving teams have meets today at Chichester starting at 3.30. Attention all lacrosse players. Conditioning begins today at the administration building at 3.15. The Flyers beat the Thrashers last night 3-2. They play again Thursday at home against the Senators. The puck drops at 7. The Sixers take on the Suns tonight at home. Tip-off is at 7. Ryan Howard signed a three-year, $54 million deal with the Phillies yesterday, which means he'll be receiving $15 million plus for the next three years. That's it for sports. Now over to the news desk. This week, for every canned food you bring into homeroom, you will receive a raffle ticket from the Sophomore Class Congress. The raffle is for two free frosh tickets and $30 off pictures. On February 18th, Newman College will be visiting the Career Center for Juniors at 945. Also, the Art Institute will be at the Career Center at 10 o'clock on February 24th. Mock Rock is back after a three-year hiatus. It will be tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Digital Media Club produced this commercial. Take a look at this. This is ridiculous. You know, I don't know if it seems like this to you, but it seems like all the bad people keep getting through. Please don't leave me, girl, don't you go. If I have to beg a plea for your sympathy, I don't. This life is full of dread. When is it going to end? No song that I could sing, but I can try for you. Our dreams are made of real things. A nice, pleasant disposition and a nice voice. And, and then, all the good people are getting rejected. I, I love the colorful clothes she wears And the way the sunlight plays upon her hair At last, my love has come along my lonely days are over. We're the coolest ones in school. We break in on the rules. We do flips in a pool if you can't use a fool. You know what? This competition is absolutely fixed. I'm going to Mock Rock, 7 o'clock tonight, because it's all for fun. And I suggest you do the same. Digital Media Club was founded by Mr. Mullen back in the 1980s, but we recently revived it to provide students with the opportunity to share their digital media talents with the school. We are not much on official business, so feel free to stop by the TV studio at any time. We now turn our attention to the menu item of the day. 
Hi, this is Nick with The Menu. Today we'll have toasted hot ham cheese on a bun, carrot or celery sticks, and applesauce. And tomorrow we'll have baked lasagna, wheat dinner roll, tossed green salad, and mixed fruit. Now over to the vocab word. Today's word is colrophobia, which is the fear of clowns. This is Kim with the quote of the day. Sigmund Freud once said, one day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as most beautiful. Now over to this day in history. This is Chris with This Day in History. On this date, February 9, 1971, the Apollo 14 spacecraft returned to Earth after mankind's third landing on the moon. And in 1997, The Simpsons became the longest-running primetime animated series. Now over to trivia. Did you know the band Pearl Jam was named from lead vocals Eddie Vedder's grandmom, Pearl, who made him a jam? Now over to entertainment. What's up, Ben Barris is DJ with some video game releases this week. We got Fear 2, Project Origin for the PC, House of the Dead, Overkill for the Wii, and Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the PS3. Now we're to the news desk. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching Kaleidoscope. I'm Laura Boyd. And I'm Barry Harris. Did you see the headline? Bruce Springsteen fans were angry because they were shut out of the ticket sales. Now, at least it's nice to know that there are thousands of people out there who feel the same way that I do. I'm Barry Harris. Have a great day, everybody.